Hello everyone, it's been a long time since I've been on camera on this channel. The last time I was on camera on this channel was more than a year ago, before I changed over to the Doom Dog, way back when I was still a digital delirium. So if you didn't know that I've ever been on camera before and that broke the illusion, sorry. Um, but I couldn't think of any other way to film this particular video. This is my home theater PC. And it doesn't have to be anything special. All I really ask from it is that it run 1080p video off of YouTube at 60 frames per second. And there are two problems with it. One, the video card in it currently is not powerful enough to do that because I get screen tearing while I'm watching things. And two, the power supply, I don't trust it. You guys may remember some time ago that I was having problems with my gaming PC. It kept shutting down in the middle of video renders and things like that. And I swapped out the power supply for a 700 watt, and I quit having those problems. So today I wanted to do a PC build video where I fixed these two problems in my home theater PC. So I have a video card and a new power supply that we're going to be installing today. I really like build videos. I have done one in the past when I built the 486. You guys may remember that. I'll link it in the description below and at the end of this video if you haven't seen it. But I really like build videos and I should have done one when I upgraded my PC and didn't do it. Or maybe I should have done one when I built rebuilt this home theater PC because before I upgraded my PC this was a Phenom 2 actually. A quad core processor. Now it has an AMD FX 8350 processor with 32 gig of GDR3 RAM at 1333 and a, a Radeon HD 6450 video card with 1 gig of onboard video RAM. And it's got a 64 gig SATA 3 solid state drive for booting into the operating system, which is Linux Mint, and four 500 gig SATA 3 mechanical drives in RAID 10 for storage. What we're upgrading to, we're, uh, we have a 700 watt power supply that we're going to put in it, brand new. And then I've got a GeForce GT730 that I'm putting in it with 2 gig of RAM. And that should be plenty for what I need from this. We'll run a couple of benchmarks. We'll show some gameplay. It'll be fun. Let's get started, shall we? Thumb screws. Eternally useful. And don't judge me on the cable management. You can't really do much in the way of cable management in this particular case. But I did get zip ties for that.
Okay, so now that we've got this all set up and running, we got the video card in, we need to get the proper video card driver. As I mentioned earlier, this had a Radeon HD 6450, so obviously that's not going to be compatible. Let's... Oh no, I'll worry about that later. So, well, all you should need to do is go down to Administration, and then Driver Manager. Wait for a little bit for this to boot up. It takes a little while to bring up your options. So just be patient with it. Also, yeah, this isn't the fastest system in the world. I mean, it's an 8-core, sure, but it's an old 8-core from... It's an 8350, so... Yeah, not the fastest thing in the world, but... It should do what I want here pretty well. I, I really like this background. Isn't that gorgeous? Picture of Godzilla. Okay, so... We have the open source driver. An older one. And then this one. Let's click on that. That's the newest one. And we're going to apply changes. And this should work. It should, it should have us restart, and then it should be working just fine. And I should have no more display problems, which... Prior to updating this driver, I certainly was. Having some display problems. Obviously, uh, the open source isn't going to be 100% perfect for this particular I mean I'm it works all right if you're not doing any gaming if you're not putting any kind of heavy use into your card it should work just fine but for what I want it for for video streaming I'd rather have the proprietary one the proper one from Nvidia themselves so that's what I'm doing here is getting that and it should be good. And then after we get this installed, I'm going to run a few uh, benchmarks on this PC. You guys probably worked out that um, this case isn't exactly the greatest case in the world for cooling. It's got and an 8350 is well known for running fairly warm, having used it. That 8350 for years, it's kind of like a small space heater or something. And I put as many fans in this thing as I could, and obviously I've got that big fucking cooler on it as well. And I actually, there was this big tube looking thing or something on the side that I removed and replaced with a small case fan there. It's not technically a case fan. It's technically a CPU fan from an old CPU. Because it was the only fan that I could find that was small enough. I figured I needed the extra cooling, though. So I did that, and I also fitted it with as many case fans as I could, which only turned out to be three beyond that. And then it's got uh, the, the CPU cooler, and it's got a fan on the... Uh, GPU as well. We will restart and do a couple benchmarks.
thought I would close out this video with a little bit of gameplay. So, you're looking at the first Half-Life. This is running with the high definition uh, texture mod, which um, it's not a mod. It's a uh, it's a texture pack that they released. It was originally developed for the Dreamcast version of it that was never released, and then it was added, upgraded, and added to the PC version where every single character model, enemy model, and weapon model in the game got four times the amount of the original polygons in it, so they looked a lot better as a direct result of that. Um, that's what you're looking at here. There's a PC version of that. The PlayStation 2 port also had this with upgraded visuals beyond the PC version if I remember correctly they might not look as good because you're displaying it on a lower resolution I'm not sure but um, it holds 60 mostly here but there's so much screen tearing that I'm noticing as I'm playing it and I'm not convinced that the uh, driver is absolutely working correctly and I don't know why and I don't know how to fix it that's kind of frustrating to put all this work into it just to find out that something might be wrong with the driver. I tried Half-Life 2 when I was getting fairly consistently sub 30 FPS, which I've already told you the specs of this machine. I should not be getting anything close to that bad in a game from 2004. This isn't a high-end PC, but the requirements of Half-Life 2 are so much below everything that this PC has to offer that I should be able to run it 1920 by 1080 with the highest graphical settings at a constant 60 and I don't know why I'm not it's frustrating I am going to play around with it some more see if I can't fix that I don't know if I can I'm gonna have to look into it by the way I did edit this whole video in Linux on the machine that you're looking at here. It's edited in KDIN Live uh, video editor and all the audio of me was recorded uh, with Audacity except at the very beginning. I didn't record at the very beginning. I tried to and the file got corrupted as I was exporting it which is why the audio at the very beginning of this is rougher than everything else in this. And I am sorry about that. I would have liked for it to be higher quality than that, but there's nothing I can do about that at this point. This also wasn't recorded with my usual mic. It was recorded with a mic that my dad has that is also a Samson, but it's like a Samson Go mic that I use this because it's better at radial sound. I can be further away from it, i.e. building a PC and it will pick up the audio better it just doesn't sound as good so if you notice a drop in audio quality from that that is why but i do hope you enjoyed watching this video i certainly had fun making it as some frustrations but overall i had fun and hopefully this will solve my problem i did watch some 1080p video and it seemed to be running all right when i was it's just running Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 1 with the screen tearing Half-Life 2 with the frame rate that bothers me because it shouldn't I shouldn't be having either one of those issues on this PC. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye everybody.